Hello, welcome to Tech Founder. I am Mustafa Iman. In this tutorial, I will show you how to install Node.js and MongoDB in Windows. First, go to your CMD and write Node-V, which is Node version actually. If Node.js is not installed in your PC, you will get an error like this. So let us install Node.js. Go to your browser and search in Google for download Node.js. I am using 64-bit Windows. Simply click here and download the file. Once downloaded, go to your download folder. Simply follow the steps. Okay. Close the previous CMD and open it again. So this time it is showing the version of Node.js. So Node.js is successfully installed in our computer. Now we will install MongoDB. Go to your browser again and search in Google for download MongoDB. Go to the MongoDB community server page. Select your operating system and to download. Simply click here and download your file. Go to your download folder. Next. Select custom. I will not install MongoDB Compass. It is a GUI for MongoDB. I am comfortable with another GUI called Robo3D. I will show you how to use Robo3D after some times. But if you wish, you can use MongoDB Compass. Finish. Go to the root directory of the drive where MongoDB has been installed. I have been installed in C drive. Here we have to open two directory. One, data and inside the data another is db we have last one work go to your mongodb bin folder location copy the location open the environment variables go to the path and create a new path for mongodb Okay, so everything is done. Now open a CMD and write Mongo. Okay, do it again. So MongoDB is running in port 27017. It is the default port for MongoDB. So MongoDB is working successfully. Now the last thing is, I will show you how to install and use Robo3D. But it is not must. If you want, you can use Robo3D. But if you wish, you can use MongoDB Compass. Go to your browser and search in Google for download Robo3D. Simply click and download the file. Once downloaded, go to your download folder. When you first time install the robot 3D, you will see this blank window. Create localhost 27017 and connect. Okay, so once new Mongo database has been created, it will be available here. I will show the practical uses in my next videos. In my next video, I will show how to create a node server. So thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel.